guys, so here we're going to take a peek at uh, proving that root 2, the square root of 2, is an irrational number. Now root 2 is a very important number, pops up quite a lot in maths. There will probably be other videos to do with root 2. Here though, we're going to prove that it's an irrational number. So remember what an irrational number is. It's a number that can't be expressed as a fraction or a ratio of two uh, integer numbers, say m and n here. Uh, so uh, they have an infinite string of non-repeating decimals. That means that decimals go on infinitely and there's never any repeating patterns in there, uh, as with recurring decimals. And if you're thinking you've never come across such a number, I can pretty much guarantee that anybody watching this video has come across pi at some point in their life. Uh, now pi is an irrational number and remember it's um, the ratio between the circumference and diameter of a circle. Well let's have a look then at proving that the root 2 uh, is an irrational number. So we're going to use proof by contradiction. It's not particularly difficult um, now when you're uh, playing proof by contradiction you first of all assume the opposite of what you're trying to prove so we're going to assume that root 2 actually is a rational number and then that would mean that it can be written as a fraction between two integers now let's say here we choose a and b as our integers and a divided by b, a over b, is the simplest form of that fraction. Now that's a very important part, is that this fraction is in its simplest form. There's no common factors between a and b. Okay, let's uh, have a look then at what this means. So if we are in fact saying that root 2 is equal to a over b, then if we square both sides of this, that's going to tell us that 2 is equal to a squared divided by b squared. Okay, and then if we multiply by the b squared, we could get that a squared is equal to 2b squared. Now then, what does this mean? Any number being multiplied by 2 is an even number by the definition of evenness so if a squared is equal to 2b squared that means that a squared has to be even now if you have an even square number the square root of it is always even so this implies then that a is even Okay, now there's no problem there yet. Let's uh, if if a is even, then there would be some number c such that a is equal to two c. Okay, right. So remember that for a sec. So we now know that two b squared is equal to a squared, but we've just said that a squared is equal to 2c. Now if we square all of 2c, we get 4c squared. So 2b squared is equal to 4c squared. Now if we divide by that factor of 2, we get b squared is equal to 2c squared. And now we're in exactly the same position we were in uh, on the last page, b squared is going to be even because it's equal to 2 times c squared. Now this means too that b will also uh, be an even number. So let's say that b is equal to 2d. Okay, so now our fraction a over b has become 2c over 2d. Now there's a common factor of 2 in there, but remember, in our assumption, 
we said that A over B was the fraction in its simplest, lowest form. There were no common factors between A and B. We've contradicted that and have therefore proven that root 2 is an irrational number. Cool. Cheers, guys.